Good morning. So, I don't know if I told you guys this, but we are off to Phoenix this week, me and John. We are going down to see his parents because they're going to be down there for an event that's happening. And so, I'm actually meeting his parents for the first time. So, that's going to be interesting. I did really good with my shredding. I didn't videotape it, but I actually lost three pounds and an inch pretty much across my body in about five days. But then John came back from Australia and that went out the window. Massive fail. So I'm just kind of not going to worry about it now because we're going to be going away. And I just figure I'll deal with it when I get back. Because we're in Phoenix and then it's my birthday and then I'm going to LA and then I think from there I'm good. So I can like be solid. Um, but I'm going to try to kick the sauce. I'm not going to drink until tomorrow. <laughs> the struggle is real. I'm getting my act together. I got a pack. I got a bunch of stuff to do. And I'm heading to Phoenix. And I will check in with you guys there. I'm not sure how much of the trip we'll be able to vlog. But um, I will vlog every chance I get. Obviously, I'm not going to vlog his parents or meeting his parents or spending any time with his parents. But I will vlog like our hotel room and stuff in Scottsdale. And then um, we're moving to downtown Phoenix. And we'll be staying in a room down there. So I'm just going to vlog whatever little footage I get. And hopefully I will have a cohesive story for you guys. <laughs> So, last night we went out for drinks. And I feel like shit today. John is at CrossFit right now. I'm about to go to the fitness center here. We are actually staying at the Sheridan. This is our patio. It's so nice out. It's so pretty. I like Phoenix. It's like, I don't know, it's very peaceful here. I like it. This is our place. It's actually kind of messy right now, but I figured I'd show you anyways. We have this like villa. So this is the door where you come in. And then this is our kitchen. And the living room. And then you walk in here. And it's a bathroom. With all our stuff. And then in here is a bedroom with all our stuff when we got a tub <laughs> in the room and then that is that patio that i was just showing you and back into the living room so what are we doing today so i'm gonna go to the fitness center um it looks so bad i'm just I'm str on the struggle bus this morning i don't know why like we drank wine last night but we didn't i don't feel like we got crazy like i've definitely had moments where i've drinking more than i did last night and for some reason today i just feel terrible but i'm gonna go over to the fitness center hopefully they've got some decent equipment and i'm gonna get a, a quick little workout in for the next hour while john's at crossfit and then i'm gonna shower and then we're gonna go pick up his parents and go to old town scottsdale i think yeah i guess that's the plan i have work to do but I'm probably not going to get to it, so. So this is our room. It's very cute. We have a little balcony. With an okay view, but we have a couch. It's very modern. Right. <laughs> very modern. Very modern. And then this is the bathroom. And you can... Pretty modern, kind of like me. Yeah. There's a waterfall shower and you can sit. And then the sink is right here with a mirror. So two people can actually be getting ready at the same time. Well, the arrogant butcher was running up there. And now I'm seeing the menu for Angel's Trumpet Ale House. And it looks pretty boss. Okay. We're going to go get some drinks some food, walk around, 
check out downtown phoenix i got trapped in your eyes the moment you looked at me from across the room those eyes kept following me what is the place that we're going what is it called uh something camper i don't know we're going to a wine bar i think so, it has some treats so this is downtown phoenix Something popped in my brain No, oh, baby, only you I see Feels like I'm going insane And only you can save me Feels like I'm drowning In ocean's blue Baby, come on, come on Baby, baby, come on, let's go I'm losing control of the lights in this place Keep jumping around, all I see is your face I'm gonna try this I think I like the middle one better though. Why well, you try the end one? This is really good. Yes. I like it. I'm trying this new NARS foundation. I'm not really, no, I, mean, I don't think I like it. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to Jenny Wine. Well, apparently we, you pour your own booze. We, yeah, and apparently we're on a mission to bar hop. We're on a downtown Phoenix bar crawl right now. Impromptu, we just in the, decided. In the, in the Hoi Toti Art District. Yeah. It's kind of cool. There's cool bars here. So we're gonna check them out. Can't deny how, how badly I need you now. got some coffee and now we are taking some photos in downtown Phoenix and then we're hitting the road. We're a little hungover, we're not gonna lie. Um, oh, I am. He's not. I am. A little hungover. But nothing a little coffee can't fix. So we are on the road back to Vegas. We stopped to eat at Crackle Barrel which was we hadn't eaten like all freaking day, so we devoured it, and now it's back on the road. Somebody missed his mom. I missed him too, though. So we're back in Vegas, and I just finished my first workout back. I feel fat. I feel gross. I didn't get to vlog that much. I didn't get to vlog like as much as I wanted to when I was there because... You, you know, I was there to spend time with John's family, and we had a really great time. It was so much fun. Um... But we're back now, back to business. Tomorrow's my birthday, so I'm probably gonna drink a boatload of wine. If you guys follow me on Instagram and you watch my Insta stories, you probably think like I'm the, a raging drunk. <laughs> because I'm always posting photos of like wine. Like, hey, we're having wine. So um, I'm not a drunk, <laughs> but I do like my wine. I have so many packages that came in and I'm trying to figure out like, how do you guys wanna see them? I don't really wanna do unboxings like, like sit down and do a PR unboxing only because I can't sit on packages that long. In order for me to accumulate enough to make a good video, that's like a week or two worth of packages. And I feel like I'm sitting there with packages in my house just like building up. Like I like to open them when I get them. And then I know like if I'm going to do a video like hits and misses, I need to be trying the products for a while. If I'm going to do first impressions, then that's different. But itchy nose but i never really know what i'm gonna do so unless i see the product and some stuff is skincare so i need to be trying it and i don't know i don't know how to show you do the unboxings with you guys like if you'd like to see me show you like all the stuff i just unboxed right now that's like sitting in my office in a vlog like if that's the way that you guys would want to see it if you'd rather me put it like on insta stories and see it that way i'm trying to figure it out because i did a few pr unboxings and i just didn't like doing it not that I don't like the video style. I like opening the boxes, of course, but I just don't like saving them. What if I miss a product that like just released and I wanna show you guys, but then like I didn't open the box and now weeks have gone by and you know what I mean? So I'm just trying to work it out. I look like crap right now. <laughs> you excited, buddy? Come on, come on. 
I mean, he gets tired after like not a long time and he wants me to carry him. <laughs> but he loves this park. It's so big, but there's a lot of dogs here. And he doesn't know what to do with himself. Huh. See, I love to say hello, but then I get scared and I run away. <laughs> huh, buddy. I have this little coat on him because he doesn't have any fur on, underneath his armpits. Like, it's literally like skin. So I get worried. I make him wear this little coat. But it's so cute. Hey guys. So I've been like really bad about vlogging today. I went to the park, which you guys saw. And then when I came home, I just went on a cleaning spree. It was on my to-do list to clean today. Like when I get in the zone, I have to just go with it. Now I am sitting down to film new at the drugstore first impressions video. And I will show you guys my mess. So here's what I've got going on here bunch of products from CoverGirl, Physician's Formula, e.l.f., um, Maybelline, and BH Cosmetics, and Pixie also. There's one under here from Pixie Big Box. Well, I'm just kind of in the mood to play with makeup, and whenever I'm in that mood, if I'm going to do a first impressions video, I'll just play with everything at once, or if I'm going to do a review video, I'll just play with new makeup while I'm like getting ready for the day. I'm trying to actually go to LA this week. I have a cosmetics event. Usually I'll stay with girlfriend, but my plans fell through. So now I am gonna stay at a hotel, I think. I'm going to get into filming now. So I am in my hotel room. Here it is. Now I'm going downstairs into the fitness center to get a little workout in before my girlfriend gets here and we go to the event tonight. So that is my story. My breath now, boy. Don't you dare feel my heart now, boy. I know you something that I'll enjoy. Move a little bit closer now.
I Buy Foundation doesn't do that. So it's like, I was like, whoa. They gave us samples of the foundation, or it's not foundation, it's a moisturizer. And today I put it on. And can I, I tell you, my skin, like I didn't put a lot of makeup on because I'm like in the car driving, but um, my skin looks amazing. And the whole idea is that when you take it off, your skin is better than when you put it on because it's giving you so much skincare benefits because it's a moisturizer. And they said that they developed it with dermatologists and plastic surgeons for years, but they also launched a bunch of new shades and they did announce that they're coming out with 40 shades to add to their collection of products. And they said that it is not in response to the social media backlash that they were getting. They said literally like their products take like eight years to develop because they're working with doctors and doctors take time to you know get back to them and whatever whatever so they said that the shade range expansion has been going on for a while but they announced it last night and they actually showed us some samples um, of how dark they basically said they're going the darkest shade available so that's kind of awesome I just finished filming my flower beauty lip video. It is now five o'clock. I've been filming straight for five hours. Now that I've finished, I am going to clean up this disaster. And then I'm gonna go get ready to do some cardio. I actually think I'm gonna end this vlog here. I feel like it's been quite a week. And yeah, I'm just going to end it because I think I got enough content for this vlog. I'm trying to get back on my feet here. John is away for tonight for work and I'm just trying to get shit done, you know? Tomorrow's gonna be like the same thing as today. I'm gonna be doing videos and cardio and tonight I gotta edit. Same shit, different day, guys. That is it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you on my next vlog or video. Whatever, wherever. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.